not a how-to, me having fun and helping me grow on my woodworking journey. Come along. Crafts have really helped me maintain my zen during this pandemic. I don't get much dog walking time these days. So I'm in the shop, which I'm so grateful that I have. So I'm trying to make these little letterings. It says, it's fall, y'all. September 22nd, first day of fall. And I'm wanting to give little gift bags to the neighbors. And I, I'm gonna do this on the scroll saw. And I'm gonna double face tape several 1 8 inch Baltic birch together and try to cut them out in one shot. And then I found some nice fall leaves at the dollar store that I'm gonna somehow attach and then attach to the bags. Now the trick is, is to see if I can get this to fit on this on this wood. That's the trick. So I've got this blue taped and I think laid out so I can cut them. It's one thing when you do it before you add the adhesive, but it always seems like when I add the adhesive, it doesn't quite go according to plan. So I'm taking my handy dandy Sharpie and drawing lines to line up. When I get over to my spray box, and hopefully have none of this overlapping, because that would be a bummer. Matched them up nicely. Already done my drill holes where I need to thread my scroll saw blade in and out. Always have to double check. I think I'm going to make the S a little fatter here. So I actually have to go in here. I was thinking about cutting them out so they're each individual, but it might be better to hold on to if I do all of the inside cuts while it's still a big piece. I'm slowly cutting out the innards of these. It's quite the ride. When I hit the carpet tape, my scroll saw blade gets a little wonky in places. So I was looking at this and noticed the eye. I love big swoopy loopy letters, but this eye here is missing a hole, so I'm not sure that people can really tell that it's an eye. I'm debating about drilling a hole there and then attaching it to my leaves. If you remember, I said I'm making um, gift bags for the neighbors because it's fall, September 22nd. And given the times, I felt like everybody needed a little pick-me-up. So I may take my little drill and put a hole there and then put some string through to attach it to the gift bags. We'll see. I like to add some Danish oil to my Baltic birch. I feel like it just makes it pop. It's really nice. 
Look at these cute bags I found to go with my saying about giving people some flour and some snacks and a cookie cutter. I'm not sure you can read this, but this is the little saying I'm including with my gift bags.